Jason over here at Go Power Sports, and today we're going to show you option number two of getting your stock bulb on the Mega Moto 212 up and running. We're doing a Tillotson 212 electric start engine. What makes option two different than option one is that we're going to open up the engine, we're going to take out the single coil, we're going to replace it with dual coils, we're going to make a pigtail for it, and with those two options, you can leave the stock bulb that comes in the Mega Moto 212. Uh, it's quite simple to do. We're gonna show you how to put the coil in. On removing the fan shroud and the starter, he's gonna use, it's a 5 16 or eight millimeter headed bolt when we do that. On this one right here that he just removed, you have to be careful because this is your ground wire to your system pinched between the shroud and the engine block. When removing this cover, you have your tension rod and your governor rods and springs under the tank. So you want to drop down a little bit and give a little angle like Kevin's doing there to get it out of there. That way you don't damage any of your other parts. We're going to remove the coil. If you don't, you're gonna end up breaking it because the ring gear in the back sticks out further. And we'll show you how to reset that coil in just a minute. On your flywheel, we're gonna use a half inch impact on it. It's just easier. If you got a really good 3.8, they'll work, but we always just use our We're gonna put the nut back on the end of the threads because we're gonna use that to lightly tap on with the hammer after we get a pry bar underneath the flywheel. You're gonna put pressure on the fly, pry bar and you're seeing the flywheel just pop right off. This is your single charging coil in a Tillerson engine. It's for the batteries what it's for. What we're gonna do is add the second coil by putting the dual pack on here. Show how that is right there your wire position to where it'll come back out the front of the block. That bracket he's putting back on, you need to line up the bottom hole so the shroud will go back on. And the little bracket simply keeps the wires from getting underneath the flywheel and chewing up the wire and grounding it out. You don't need a lot of pressure on these. Putting the flywheel back on, make sure your key's in good. When replacing the fan and the cup, make sure you get the divot in the hole where it goes in. And you'll want to impact this fairly good, especially if you got a 3 8 impact. We got a half. Now on resetting your coil, you're gonna roll it around till the magnet is up. Kevin's putting the business card in between it. That's gonna draw down to your magnet. Kevin, Kevin. And don't forget this wire going underneath here as your ground wire to your system. Can I have you spin that again? Start all these bolts before you tighten any bolt. Make sure you get them all started. 
It's easier to lean the for engine forward to where you can get to that fold inside without dropping it. Now we're going to pull our pull start over to make sure that it, everything's lined up and working. All right. And what we're going to do now to make this go onto the Megamoto 212 frame, you have to get rid of this pigtail here. And Kevin's going to put the two ends, the new ends on. And we're going to replace it with female bullet connectors. These two wires are going to feed onto the Megamoto's brown and white feed wires. All right, so with option number two, we need to make sure that the engine is on the on position. So we're going to now use the original wire harness and regulator rectifier that's on the Megamoto 212. So we're going to use both these brown feed wires, which is feeding all the controls on the handlebar. We're still going to just use one of these kill switch wires, and we're going to use the ground wire as well. Kevin's going to put the engine into the frame. Now we do have the charcoal canister on the bottom side of the engine. Make sure that you relocate it so that it'll clear this frame's jack shaft. And with option number two, you can choose whether to leave or take off your red and white posts that come off your Tillotson engine. Right now, we are connecting the feed wires into the electrical system. That's going to be the two new ends that we just created coming off of the dual coils, and then the two brown and white coils coming off of the wire harness. We are going to ground this underneath the tank mount bolt. The black kill wire coming off of your Tillotson engine with a green sleeve will hook up to one of the black kill wires coming off of your Megamoto's wire harness. All right, now we're gonna clean up these wires. We're going to zip tie them to the frame so they look nice and neat. We're also going to zip tie that charcoal canister to the bottom side of the Megamoto seat or up against the frame. So now that you have option two all put together, we're going to fire it up and show you how the handlebar switches work. Now with both of these options, your handlebar switches are now going to work with this setup. So that just finishes up option number two. Just to recap, we are doing dual coils on option number two. That allows us to be able to use our stock headlight. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay around for option number three. Mm -hmm.